I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Sometimes I Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Love to rap just like the Steve. I've been niggas there. Top score in a catch with a ratchet like tell me it's bad. You went to the county for the mess, get a gang you a slab. I'm not you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I got a new one. Let's get a close up. NBA Jam joint. Me and my man Showtime SP, the designer of this NBA Jam style um, sweater. Just the graphic was Kaleidus Smooth. He has a YouTube channel where he does a lot of graphic type battles. He did uh, Method Man versus Math Hoffa. He did Danny Myers versus Bankhead, Rock versus Hollow. And it's animated. It's a lot of animated dope type stuff. Make sure you check out his channel. I'm going to pin his uh, YouTube channel in the comments where you will be back in the building real soon. There's some bad storms going on tonight. So I, we, I just wanted to come out here, talk to you about chess versus K Shine. I know a lot of y'all seen the trailer. Um, I put up the joint earlier who y'all think was gonna win. A lot of people got K Shine, K Shine, K Shine, K Shine. Now, what I wanted to do was break down every single round that I've sketched about and I've got some information, you know what I'm saying? I wanna look at things from an analytical perspective from how did we get here, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the big thing. How did we get here? Because I know there's a lot of y'all who feel like um, Y'all gonna jump quick to the Chess don't deserve this battle, Chess don't deserve this battle And I get it, trust me, I do, I do, I do I wanna read some of the comments um, I'm, As a matter of fact, it's like 40 comments on here And I'm gonna read a lot of them, fuck it, why not? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, are we here? Alright, we here, R -r -r roll with me Shine 3-0, this is a disrespect to Shine from Poison Pink TV uh, Truth Shoots says, if everyone goes crazy when Shine gives a light punch with some dance moves, then 3-0 shine. If we talk in bars, chess. Then, um, who is Taddy Madison said? Chess is the Adrian Broner of battle rap. Then, uh, Lita Boss said, chess 4-0 with the material. And Wild said, shine, easy bet. He's always consistent. If chess reaches the top shelf, it could be a classic. Corey Allen said, shine gonna win. Chess don't deserve him at all at this point. I feel like URL thinks they owe Chess for saving the loaded hollows two on two. He always wanted to battle him, so this is a reward. Marcus Allen said, but Chess can win. He's fire in small rooms. Arsenio said, if Chess doesn't choke, he can win a round. I don't think he deserves this as of late, and Shine will show there's levels to this. Rhode Island. Chess 2-1 is going to be an upset. I can see K-Shine stumbling due to the fact there won't be any crowd. Um, someone else said, damn, Shine really don't want to see daylight. Uh, no crowd, 2-1 chess. But if the NWX crew is present with their gas, people will say Shine won like they did when he battled Geechee. Just Me says, Shine has to adapt to this situation. He will not lose. He smoked twerk in a quarantine battle and performed as if he was on a big stage. Chess has the potential to win. We know his potential. NWX is the gas. Shine don't need it. Shine 2-1. Uh, Kennedy said, Vada, what up? You want to know what happened? He's fitting to get smoked. Uh, chess 2-1 if he don't choke. I like chess. I like chess. Chess, shine, shot, whatever. So, okay. Just wanted to see what some of the people were saying about this battle. Um, let's be honest. Uh, you, I got some battles. So, um, Chess last five battles B Magic, John John the Don, Tori Doe, Loaded Hollows, Bad News, and if you want to go a little further than that, New Jersey Twerk Shotgun Shook, right? Then you have K Shine's last battles two on two, Monstars versus NWX, two on two versus Rum and Geechee, um, versus Tay Rock, versus Geechee, and versus Av. You know, and Av dates back to the um, the end of. 2018. Um, what I will say in this is K Shine, you know what you're getting with K Shine. You know, pretty much consistently, you know what you're gonna get in his rounds. Oh yeah, this this joint is out too on the on RiceGangClothing.com. The sweater is out. Make sure you cop. Won't be around for long and don't get mad. But uh K Shine, 
knows what he's doing in a lot of different situations. Now he has the dojo where he practices over rounds. Well, he doesn't practice them live, but he's taking in younger MCs and you know, he's definitely honing his craft and being more of a leader, you know, cause that was the thing. Kayshawn was always part of different crews, but to see him step out in a leader role, to see him step out and take that front, that front man role, I think is definitely a, a dope situation for him. And you know, DNA is there, so he's definitely got a dope sparring partner because DNA is going to always push Kayshawn to that next level. So we're hoping that he's going to bring his A game. Uh, chess is so unpredictable. Um, I know a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, he's getting 30, just getting 30. Now, Chess, I'm going to be honest with you. We should be getting the best version of him that we have ever seen. The best version. He has no reason to not be the best Chess we ever seen. The reason why is because when he was losing battles or stumbling through battles or doing whatever he was doing, he said, y'all give me who I want. And then I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show up. That's what he said. You know, something to that, to those words. Like if you, if you, y'all not giving me who I want. Y'all giving me all these people I don't want. And you know, that's not. That's I'm not getting up. I'm not prepared for these dudes. Well, you got Keisha. Blood, I eat your food. Remember that you got who you wanted. So we're expecting. Now let's not. We're not gonna say that Chess didn't show up in certain battles. The Jerry West battle, he definitely showed up. I don't even have the head. The reason why I don't have this is because Verse Tracker only tracks battles that dropped on YouTube. So the Jerry West, we got to put Jerry West in here somewhere. Like I think it was right after Bad News. Jerry West, good performance. Geechee Gotti too. Yeah, so all, you know, we're going to, um, we got to do a little edit. So you got Magic, John John, Tori Doe, Loaded Hollows, Geechee, and Jerry West, right? I had him Beating Jerry West, I had Geechee getting him 2-1. Uh, Loaded Hollows, classic, but that, you know, it doesn't really matter as far as a one-on-one. -on -one. Chess showed a lot of heart in that in that battle too, so I, I did give a lot of props. 3-0 Tori Doe, body by John John, lost to be Magic. Uh, lost to be Magic because it kind of seemed like he didn't even care. That was like one of those, I'm just here to fulfill my requirement. I, 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 I'm here to rap today. And that's it. I, I, you're not gonna get nothing, nothing extra for me. And that's so. It's kind of hard when you have those type of battles because you know that he really didn't care. Like he didn't, he did not care about the B Magic battle. And B Magic is a pretty dope MC. You know what I'm saying? Like when he wants to be, uh, he he can get busy. And B Magic did have a good round, but that battle overall just was not a good battle. So if we talking about battles that that really, really matter to him. The John John should have mattered because that was one of the last big stage joints and John John bodied him. Um, that joint is never probably going to come out on YouTube, but John John got crazy with him. Um, but he got crazy with Bad News. He got crazy with Geechee. He got crazy with Jerry West. He got crazy with Twerk. So he has it in him. Like It's not like he doesn't. The arm bark, lock up, snap at any moment. He gets busy on, on occasion. Now, the only thing that 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 that, that kind of has me concerned is when you have an MC that has a choking issue, a jersey an issue, and you put them in these rooms. A lot of the MCs who've been known to choke or known to stumble or have issues, they get in these rooms, these small rooms with no crowd, no crowd reaction. They hear the echoes and they start to choking. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. You've, I've seen MCs who not even known to choke choke in these uh, volume, this caffeine, I'm going to just call it the caffeine room. In the caffeine room, Queens Flip Quiet Room setting. So I don't know, but I would definitely go out on a limb and think that K-Shine for sure, for sure is going to be prepared. Like, I, no, I'm not even going out on a limb on that. I'm saying if at their best, three rounds of material, Oh yeah, and Chess had the old red joint in there too. Remember, guys, I'm I'm only tracking the battles that uh that that drop. The verse tracker only tracks with drop. So let me get this right. You know what I'm saying? And, and y'all gotta bear with me. But we got old red performance, right? We got Magic, John John. Those are the last two that I do remember. Tory, Loaded Hollows, right? News, 
Geechee, Old Red, and, 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 and Jerry West. Okay, we'll do it like that. So, I had him beating Jerry. I had him beating Old Red. Um, Geechee, I got Geechee winning. Um, I had him beating Bad News 30. Uh, Loaded Hollows, that's just a classic. I had him beating Tory Doe. Um, I had him losing to Magic, John John, and um, Magic, John John, and Geechee. So I had him losing those three. Um, out of K Shine's last battles, NWX vs. Monstars, NWX won that. Uh, versus Rum and Geechee, debatable, but I think I had DNA and Shine winning that. Rock and Shine, I actually had Rock winning that 2 1. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, Rock, I had Rock winning 2 1, but it's debatable. Versus Geechee, debatable. A lot of people debate that battle. Um, real close one. That's a debatable though. Uh, versus Ab, debatable. Um, just a lot of people gave that to Shine though. Um, so we, I'm just doing this as a tail of the tape to kind of see where we got here. But in for, in terms of consistency, K Shine way more consistent. Like he's consistent. He's gonna bring it every battle. Um, he's gonna bring it every battle. He's gonna always have be on his A game. You're never going to have a shadow of a doubt of what he's going to bring. And my man Showtime SP, when he gets back, we're going to talk about this battle even more. But uh, I wanted to just bring this to the forefront and talk to you guys. Um, I know a lot of y'all just going to go off the offset and say that y'all got um, k Sean winning. And for Shine, what he said in his trailer promo makes a lot of sense. If Chess brings, to, he's one of the MCs, there's a few MCs. That if they bring three rounds without choking or stumbling, people feel like they automatically won the battle. We already know the rest. There's a couple more. All they got to do is get through their material. And I don't feel like that's, that should be relevant. I don't really feel like just because an MC makes it through a round and they've been known to choke or stumble means that they should get that round. Like, it doesn't work like that. I think that you should still have to work just as hard as the another MC who brings it every time. I mean, I just, I, I feel like that should not be the reason why an MC won. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason why an MC should just get a win based off the pretense that they got through their material. No, we still need to break things down analytically. We still need to look at who said what. What round did the person have the better? See, because the thing is, Chess, he has different moments in his rounds where he does things that, to me, like, are, are magical. You know what I'm saying? Then he has other moments where he has this flow, where he does that flow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He'll be like, uh, that shit. Y'all know the shit that he does. Clocks, glocks, lead a scene, wet, like, mops. Like, that, to me, I feel like that's pretty easy. Like, and uh, it, I feel like it's an easy flow. That's just a really easy flow to come up with. And to get the two hands swinging on them like clocks, you know, like oh, whatever. But if he brings the material that we know he's capable of and gets dy dynamic, like how he did with O Red and a lot of that material, and he had Danny Myers too, that didn't drop on the app too, but that was more like last year sometime. Um, but he has the ability to do it. I know there's a lot of people asking why the hell is this battle booked? They wanted to see Shine versus Hollow. They wanted Shine. Hollow told me that he wanted to battle Shine. Um, I think that battle's probably gonna happen later on this year. Um, Daylight wanted them too, so I really don't know what went on to make this happen. But it is K Shine, so we have to um, we have to look at it like that. I mean, come on, dog. It, the battle's happening, so let's just talk about it from how it's gonna go down. I mean, I'm from the Bronx. And you know the Bronx bias be in there. But in this regard, I'm going with K-Shine 2-1. Uh, K-Shine 2-1 in a better battle than people probably expect it to be. That's what I will say. I have it as a better battle than people expect it to be. Uh, I do have Chess getting through all of his rounds. Um, I know Shine will, but I do have Chess getting through all his rounds. Because, boy, let me tell you what. If he shows up and does not get through his material versus chess, I mean, versus um, Shine, and this is the battle that he wanted, oh, it's going to be dark. It's going to be crazy. The internet, the internet will be crazy, dog. I, 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 oh, my goodness. I, I, I don't even want to think about it. I really don't want to think about it because they, the people will go crazy. People will definitely, they're going to go crazy. Motherfuckers is going to wild out. If you think 
that these artists hated media or hated bloggers before, if he don't get through that, he's got to. I hope he's sparring with the best of them to get through his material. Um, salute to all of the battle rappers out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really, like, I, I, it kills me sometimes that battle rappers sometimes get emotional about the media when they have to realize that the leagues don't pay the artists to promote their cards. The leagues don't pay them. YouTube does, you know what I'm saying? But the leagues don't. Uh, the artists don't. So there's certain artists that they get mad if you don't talk about their battles. Some of you niggas' battles just don't be like that. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get mad at what somebody's doing on their personal equipment, their personal camera. You niggas is bugging. Some of you niggas, I don't care if you battle Lux. I ain't talking about it. You, I just don't care. Like, I'm sorry. It, it is what it is. But... This is definitely one that I will talk about. We will break down more. This is the Summer Madness battle. Um, it's not a safe battle for Kayshawn. The reason why it's not safe is because Chess can definitely wild on you. And if Chess gets the first round and he's in that demon bag, y'all know the bag. If he gets in that bag, I'm from cool in half. I'm from cool in half. Nah, nigga, you thought I was going to play with you. You thought I was going to play with you. I ain't scared of this shit. I, like, he gets in that bag that he got into versus the Loaded Hollows. It could be definitely a classic. Now, it's a low-risk, high-reward battle for Chess because a lot of people ain't picking him to win anyway. So if he does really good or if he gets through all of his rounds, they're going to make it debatable anyway, like Sean was saying. But, I mean, both are talented MCs. Both have the ability to go all the way, man. And, I, you know, who knows? It's definitely something that I look forward to. And like I said, I'll chop this fable up a little bit more with my man Showtime SP when he swings back through, you know. But uh, you already know what it doing, what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me, right? <sighs> I ain't in a boxer. I keep that pistol on me person. I ain't in a boxer. But I hit hard like Javante to Davis. Suckers catch me lacking, yet they plotting on making me famous. They go slap this when I die and say that little bro gang. And my ops know what time it is. They say that little bro dangerous. I'm well invested in the click. I'm God and they love me. Fall and skits and sexual trips. If you made it, you lucky. Bitch, I ain't rolling shit. I'm a thug when it's funky. My bitch say I act the ass. My nickname should be Donkey.